hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i show you how to customize the bootstrap in laravel application first of all what is the bootstrap bootstrap is the most popular css framework for developing responsive and mobile first websites it's totally free and open source and you can develop a website using bootstrap faster and easier so you can save your time using the bootstrap and it's very popular library for the css now i created this ui using the bootstrap 4 and i included bootstrap 4 cdn into the my application and you can see here the bootstrap cdn 4.1.1 included first step is I going to remove this CDN and going to install bootstrap dependency using the npm so let me install first npm install and bootstrap so you can see here the npm dependency is installing npm dependency installed successfully let me show you into the package.json file and into the dependency section bootstrap 4.6.0 is added also you can see here package log.json is updated now next step is i need to include this bootstrap into the assets first of all i going to rename the css file app.css which is default provided by the laravel application because i using bootstrap scss in this file so first i rename this file and convert it to css to app.scss now i import the bootstrap here let me add node module select bootstrap select scss and select bootstrap remove this extension no need to include now bootstrap bootstrap is included successfully and first of all let me show you app.css file right now nothing into the css file now i need to convert scss file into the css so let me specify here says function of the laravel mix and specify here app dot scss file instead of css let me specify file name here so it's convert into the app dot css file in public directory so this says function compile the app.css file and convert into the app.css file and that app.css file need to include in the main view this is the app.blade file this is main file of the blade in my project let me specify the path and app.css now i going to use mix function of the laravel mix not asset so let me specify mix css and app dot css now let me run the command npm run dev see here all the assets are compiled successfully and to file created by the laravel mix app.js and app.css which is created into the public directory you can see here both files are there and let me show you again app.css and you see here all the bootstrap css included now this css load here so let me refresh and i need 
need to start server again php artisan so and you can see here the output is same and css loaded again now i going to customize the bootstrap into the app.scss let me show you the all files and you can see here the variable file is there and all the variables of the bootstrap are declared here now i going to change the primary and secondary colors this blue color is using as a primary color so i going to change this blue color first of all i create one variable file here so let me create variable dot sc yes and specify here now i going to replace this color let me specify new color here and include this variable file before this import so import here and variable file let me run npm dev again for the compile assets again see here compile successfully and both file updated let's start server and see here this is the before customize this is after customize you can see here i change the primary color of the bootstrap and it's change everywhere here in this ticket background button color so just you need to overwrite variable and write here so bootstrap use this variables instead of this variable because bootstrap do not use this variable if found first any variable and when compile the scss file this variable files found and bootstrap use this variable instead of its own so you can change any of the colors any other cs other variables let me show you font variables here is the font family base variable declare let me specify font here and specify roboto i need to include a roboto from the google let me search and you can see here roboto is there let me select the style and here is import given let me copy this add here and specify this robot name to font family base compile the assets again see here asset compiled let me start server again and see the difference of the font php artisan so 
and let me close this and open into the new tab and see here the basic primary font of the bootstrap is changed you can easily see the difference of the font so easily change the any of the value and override the bootstrap variable value and easily customize bootstrap in laravel using scss thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you